were invited here after the collapse of the condo to bring um, comfort and peace to those that um, have lost loved ones in, in the condo. And we had a mass production of 160 markers that you see right here with hearts on them. Now that the operation has gone from rescue to recovery, uh, they're looking for that closure of the names of their loved ones on these markers. So the Hearts of Mercy and Compassion Crosses for Losses is a gift that we give to the families of people that have lost a loved one. And we are able to provide this gift so that others that visit memorial sites can sign words of encouragement, Bible verses, in many languages, as it turns out, from many different religions. We have seen people at the memorial wall grieving and then feeling like, oh, this is awesome that I can write something to this family and I can leave my handprint on this marker. This whole process has really been a labor of love for me. Every time I put a name on one of these hearts, it hits me and it especially hits me hard when I see the families and they start telling stories about their families and then they really come to life. When we got here, uh, there was a trailer uh, that, that come down from Northern Illinois, from uh, Northbrook, and was loaded up with uh, the pedestals for the heart, the hearts of uh, compassion. And uh, what we saw in that, when I saw in that pile of uh, wood was just wood. We got down to the memorial wall and set them up on the wall. The wood came alive. To see those names, it yeah. breaks your heart. Yeah. It just breaks your heart. And so while the wood was there in the trailer and when the construction, when our team put it together, thank you the team for doing that when they put them together. We transported them, we got them in and out a couple of times. They meant little, but when they, when you can come against the backdrop of that, that pile where all those people lost their lives, it, it's pretty powerful, very powerful.